Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Football Manager 2011 playthrough with AC Milan. Now we're starting here on the fixtures after um, our game versus Lazio, which was the third game in the league and this was um, the rest of the matches, rest of the fixtures and surprise surprise Inter Milan lose against Sampdoria 2-1. Samuel, uh, Walter Samuel on goal and uh, Daniele Manini uh, goal um, sealed the win for Sampdoria and Samuel Eto scored for Inter and he is joint top goal scorer in the league now. Um, no real other surprising results I guess here. Um, yeah nothing, just want to see if Cavani's got two on goals. Would Napoli that match. So uh, this is the current table. Uh, we have a 100% record against. Um, well, we have a 100% record in the league. Uh, second on goal difference, and that's how it's looking at the moment. Uh, nothing real, nothing really surprising. But I guess, well, yeah, uh, Palermo 18th and Fiorentina 17th, Genoa 15th, and that's a, that's pretty surprising to be honest. But uh, it's still early days, and uh, stuff. Well, the uh, we've still got the rest of uh, the uh, fixtures to uh, determine the league table. So um, these are the team stats I've got up for you now. Um, we've got the best home record because we played two home games, uh, only one away. Um, we've won three games in a row. But then, then again, this early on. I mean, I don't really understand this. To be fair, average attendance, ours is only 49,000, Inter's is 60,000, even though we have the same stadium, it's a bit odd, to be honest. Uh, the player stats here, which are probably a bit more interesting, uh, Mohamedou Sacco with, um, Ma well, not Mohamedou, Mamadou Sacco, sorry, with the uh, highest average rating at 8.2, and uh, he's popping up again, Asamoa here. The, uh, again, I told you in the last video that he was one of my targets for next season. Um, uh, assists, Perlo's got three assists, expect nothing less from the uh, master playmaker himself, man of the match, nothing really surprising, Manik Hamšík. Uh he probably will be another one of the attacking midfield players I might buy, and then red cards, I'm not really surprised with De Rossi, I've bought him a lot of times before and he always does seem to get a red card uh, quite regularly. And then the uh, the one most people are interested in the most is the goals. Samueletto joint uh, first with Asamoa. He's popping up again. Uh, Maxi Lopez and Samuel Eto again is in the top. Uh, in what well, joint first? Uh, Mamadou Sako and Zlatan Ibrahimovic both got two for us. And there's probably like eight people who are joint second. Not gonna ch actually. I might check that. They are one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, nine people joined second. But then again, it's still early days. So um, they don't really matter too much at the moment. But we have got our next game away against Fiorentina. So I'm going to pick the team and I'll join you uh, in a little. Hi and uh, welcome back. And uh, I have picked the team and these are the two teams that um, have been picked. The only change I've made is I've put in Bonera for Zambrotta, Nesta in for Sacco. But Nesta has got severely lacking match fitness, so I will probably take him off. Cohen Trau's come in for Emmanuelson, and Van Bommel's gone out, and Abrasini's come in. Those are the only changes I've made. Now, um, Fiorentina, that's the, their team. I mean, the danger people probably Montalivo, Vargas, Barami, and Gilardino, who normally scores quite a lot of goals in the Serie A league when I've been in, when I've managed in there before. Um, he does tend to score a lot of goals. Um, so I would probably rate him as a danger man today. Uh, let's just hope uh, Ibrahimovic has a better game than he did last time. I'm going to say expect a performance from him, him, and that's about it. It's a highlight straight away, and uh, this could be a very, very long game. And it's Vargas already. Oh, we've got possession back. Um, but yeah, it is um, Fiorentino away, so I'm not sure whether to expect a win or not. But uh, oh, well, that would have been a great goal from Ibrahimovic. But uh, they are going to be a difficult opposition. But it, you know, I've played teams before when they just don't turn up, and your team just dominate and just you know p roll over that team, and you win 
quite comfortably but uh, it might not be the case in this game but uh, we'll, we're just gonna have to see but uh, yeah they are a really good team and uh, we'll hope for the win today I mean it is a way so um, I'll probably would take a point uh, from this game if I'm brutally honest and uh, Trying to get some chances in, but Nest and Thiago Silva do well. Oh, great touch from Ibrahimovic. Go on, go on. That's a great ball from Coentrao, and he smashes it wide. And he's done that about five times in two games. Starting to get a bit annoying now from Robinho. And uh, good passing here. Go on, can he do, can Pastore do anything? Oh, he's brilliantly sliding in Ibrahimovic, and he's not going to miss that. It's 1-0 to AC Milan and Pastore did fantastic well it said it hit that from 20 yards out I mean it wasn't particularly a, a screamer but uh, he was one on one and that was a good finish it wasn't in the corners though so uh, let's just hope when he does get other chances like that just stick him in the corners otherwise that would be quite disappointing and uh, this is taking long and there we go slides him in and well, the frame rate is it was a bit laggy there, to be fair, but um, it does do that. I mean, this game does run a bit slower when Fraps is open, which is what I'm using to record. So, um, yeah. Oh, there it went a bit quicker. And Ibrahimovic scores another in quick succession. And it was a similar opportunity. And for a minute, I thought he blasted it over. But it was a good finish in the top left-hand corner. Good ball from Robinho this time. And uh, they've been split open twice in a couple of minutes and uh, that is a great great um, couple of minutes for us and uh, again Ibrahimovic got another yellow card I mean I swear he's had, he's had a couple of yellow cards actually might get sent off in the full season. and there he is he's in again and he oh he's got a hat trick well it came off the keeper he got the rebound and he's got his hat trick already 35 well just over or just just under 35 minutes and it's taken that long for Ibrahimovic to get a hat-trick and he's just been making those runs and Pastore has just been sliding him in uh, through the heart of the defence and we are comfortably 3-0 up and as I said you can be oh when Pastore is at the bar that's unlucky but as I said you can pre roll over these teams but I think these were more they look more of more like counter-attacks than um sort of just piling pressure on that one team. It looks like we went on the counter. So um I say thrilled uh with the team. Uh you gotta be careful what half time team talks you put out because if you are winning at half time and you, you give the wrong team talk then the other team can just come out and absolutely smash you uh in the second half, which is not what we want. And then Gilardina looks like he's in behind. Good play there by Ambrosini to keep him out. Oh, and there we go. It's another goal. And um, Pastore, <laughs> brilliant finish. Lukaku with a great, great assist. But now on the left-hand side this time, and Pastore with a great finish. And uh, that's what I mean about... Well, that's what I meant but in the last video when I said about the roaming. Um, it really does help uh, when you play people in, in the whole area. Imagine if you played Messi there. What kind of damage would that cause? It's fantastic moments. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to continue the game now. Ibrahimovic got a hat trick. He's on five goals. And, um, yeah, we are top of the league now. We'll have a look at the league now. We are top for four wins out of four. Napoli have also got four wins out of four. Um... Let's look at the player stats. Yeah, Ibrahimovic, top goal scorer in the league with five goals. And, um, well, very impressive performance from the lads. And um, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give it a like. And I will see you next time.